Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at when women get rejected. Now let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm retired. I play a lot of golf, and I just recently celebrated my 49th wedding anniversary. Wow. That's pretty good, man. That's not easy. You gotta treat her respect, take her on great trips. For our 25th, I took her to China, and next year I'm gonna go pick her up. Man, that's the only true secret to a long and healthy relationship. Can I get your number? You can get my number, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. No, what? It's like a checklist of things I want in women. So. I weigh 170. Two. Oh. Whoa. Have a good day, it was nice meeting you. And that, my friends, is an Uno reverse being played in real life. Low interest rates are slim. Low interest rates, I'm sorry. You have a nice... Why? Because you, you can save some money. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> this guy stood his ground against an influencer who was running out of content. <laughs> he probably saw into the future where she's fighting for half the things he owns. Would you date a girl with a fan site? I'll play it off, but you gotta pay me too, though. She has to pay you? Yeah, I love the fan site. What about you? Would you date a girl with a fan site? Hell no. No? No, no, no. That's part of your morals, no way. <laughs> Men, if you're gonna have one preference, just one, let it be no fan sites. You know what I just thought of? What? No female has ever been to the moon. Why do you think that is? Oh, it doesn't need to be clean, does it? Boys, that sounds like a skill issue to me. My friend thinks you're really cute, and uh, she's just shy. Is it okay if she comes over here? Come here, this is my sister! That's okay. This is my sister! Why? She's cute! This is my twin! What are you talking about? That's cool, right? That's my sister. Was this an experiment to show that men have taste? Guy probably called up his contractor saying, you're never gonna believe this. Yo, look at that chest! Holy cow, is that even real? Like, actually, what the Like, you literally can't be talking like that. That's what? Like, what? are you being My friend just like, has- Like, that's actually- My friend just has a chest. What you Yo, I got this chest for you. No. You guys for me? I got it. Which one of you got it for me? I got it for you. Why the why do you even, why do you have that? Like, actually, why do you have that? Like, 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 are you playing you with what? Like, what? little Lego? Like, no! There probably was a point where she realized she messed up, but a woman admitting she was wrong is rarer than one apologizing. My man saw the next 50 years of his life flash before his eyes and decided it was better to take a dip in the ocean. So, I have a terrible cold, alright? But I'm also an optimist. So I look at this in a positive light, where at the very, very least, I won't have to taste her cooking at all. Andrew, my cooking is good. I'm cooking it. That is so... When she heard herself say it the third time, even she stopped believing in it. Kiss or slap? Slap. She wanted a daddy. He became her father figure. Look at the 10 pounds of makeup you're wearing. No. Those are too cute for me. Yeah, you're right. You're obviously Yeah, just because you got 10 bodies doesn't make you a 10. Normalize clapping back at women who've only ever encountered simps. Yeah. Where do I put it? On the ground? Who needs a man? Not me, baby. Not me. Oh my god. That's the oil. Now oil is coming, you see? Yeah. I don't know. Yes, sir, I'm recording it. And, and I do have a witness in here. 
Somebody put windshield washer or something? Something like that. So the car was getting up? No, I don't know. She just brought it. Oh, Jose. Yo. She said her washer fluid is not working. She told me that too. Okay. Strong, independent women minus the strength and in independence. Look, I've never had a worse breakup. They all the, the same thing. <laughs> women try to force themselves on me, and I get very frightened. <laughs> forcing me to call, forcing me to listen when they call, forcing me to watch the dub they want to watch on television, forcing me to take them out, forcing me to wear what they think I look cute in, forcing me to play Xbox with them when they're not even interested in the game. They get pissed away. Forcing me to. Forcing me to cuddle afterwards, even in the summer, is hot. <laughs> I still love you. Look it. <laughs> Look it, man. Ladies, if you want to know how to make your man happy, just think about what makes you happy and do exactly the opposite. <laughs> Feminists weren't ready for you, Patrick O'Neill. My man over here would have gotten cancelled left and right, so he beat them to it. I am newly single, and I have been single for three months, and I chose to leave the man. I was going to get married, he was perfect on paper, but I walked away. Why? Stupid. Because I am very... <laughs> <laughs> and this is why, like, yo, this is what I'm trying to say. Arranged marriages are a thing because women make bad decisions. No, kidding, because kidding. I'm Actually, like you. I'm that. very picky and I know what I want. And it's like, although someone's maybe perfect for me on paper and yeah, he treats me like a princess and things like that, there's things that I need. And if that person doesn't have it. You're 29. <laughs> yes, yeah, Be a bit specific. Yeah, it's like, the yeah. person was a people pleaser. What? Like, no. we, not just with me, but with like the family, his his friends. It, it was like the people around him. He was just. So he's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. Okay, can, I, <laughs> can, I, can I actually? Can I? No, no, can I, no, can I, no. Crazy. To those of you who don't know what she wants, don't worry, she doesn't know either. How old do you have to be then as a woman to be considered a leftover? I think around 30, like after 30 years old. But if you're after 35 years old, then just you're out of the market. You know, it's, it's more like you don't have to consider about getting married anymore. Just to maybe have a child on your own is the best way for you. In America, they'd call that a woman who knows what she wants. In China, they call it what it really is. Roll the window down. No. I'm not. I'm not rolling the window down. Roll the window so down. please leave. Roll the window down. No, I'm not. <gasps> Look on the bright side, King. At least now you get to sue her for twice as much. Babe, I already know what I want for Father's Day. What? I know I know it's gonna be hard. But I want you to shut up the whole day. <laughs> you trying to get up? That's the problem right now. You think I'm playing? I'm not gonna give you. When it comes from her, it's funny. When it comes from him, it's a call to 911. How are you equal if the men are the ones that have to fight and die to defend the country? The men are the ones that build and maintain all the infrastructure, right? Like none of this stuff in the studio is built or maintained by women. Do you know that like 90% of infrastructure jobs are still held by men? Mm -hmm. And that if you look at the top 20 jobs held by women now in 2024 versus 1924 are almost the exact same. So women have had 100 years to do whatever they want and they still do the same 20 jobs they did 100 years ago other than we switched out farm labor for HR work. But other than that, we're secretaries, nurses, daycare ladies, early childhood education, administrative assistants, retail workers, all the same that we were a century ago. <laughs> That's interesting. And it really makes you think if it was ever about equality. When was the last time that you had a period? <sighs> you don't remember, okay. There could um, be a slight chance I might be pregnant now. Really? And why do you say that? I've been craving weird things that I'm not... Normally craving? Yeah. And now you crave it. Hmm. Like water. Well, some of it I'm could be water. Yeah. 
You ain't pregnant. You're thirsty. You're just thirsty. Go drink you some water. It'll be all right. <laughs> Unless she can self-reproduce, there's no chance anyone got her pregnant. If I text you yeah. throughout the day, like at various points in the day to check in. What check in? What are you checking for? Like if I... What am I, four square? You're like checking you, in? you leave... I don't give a... So you leave at like eight o'clock. I yeah. text you around like 10 to say, hey, what's up? How's your day going? And then I text you again around like 12 and say, yeah. hey, are you having lunch? What are you eating? What's yeah. up? And then I call like you at like... just nonsense stuff. Huh? Like just nonsense stuff. Just like checking in, not like nonsense. I'm, like I have nothing to do right now. No, just text. like, are you okay? How's it going? Are no, you I just fell. Thank day? you for checking. <laughs> I've been laying on the floor. Why didn't you call? Uh, why didn't you just get up and go? No, because I'm waiting for your <laughs> call I to make sure answer. I'm okay. I was going to ask. Yeah. Do you like it when I check in multiple times through the day? Do you ever feel as if maybe it would be nice to just hear from your, from me, from your spouse? During the day? Yes. Yeah. Like, how are you? How's your day going? Yeah. Yes? That'd be nice. So I should do that? Yeah. Like, a few times a day? At least six, seven times. Can you be real? I'm telling you. Okay, I'm uh, going to call you six, don't seven call, times tomorrow. Just text. Okay, I'm going to text you yeah. six, seven times tomorrow. You better text me back. No. Why? <laughs> I didn't say I'm going to text back. I'll read it. I'll say, oh, wow, she thought of me, and I'll go back to doing what I was no, doing. No, you have to text me no, back. No, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why not? I don't want to know what you're doing at that time. Why not? I don't care. <laughs> She'd actually be the first one to walk out of his life if he ever got laid off for talking to her all day instead of working. Viewers were shocked at the real ages of Love Island contestants. The all of these women are in their 20s. Here they and are. Here I'm they sorry, are. they don't look like they're in their 20s. No. Nope. My name's Nicole. I'm 24 and I'm from Aberdeen in the Valleys. I'm an accounts manager for a family run business. Hi, I'm Harriet, I'm 24, and I'm a dance teacher from Brighton. My name's Jess, I'm 25, I'm a retail manager, not just any retail manager, from Stockport. Absolutely insane. I can't believe that they look like that. This is a war crime. Charge <laughs> the plastic surgeons with war crimes. I am being 100% serious. When you fill your face, you're actually stretching out your skin. You have to keep going back again and again to reverse the damage that you've done until you look bloated like Leonardo DiCaprio. Is this really Love Island or an episode of Botched? Maybe you just think that women should be equally represented in the decision-making fora of our nation. I, I don't understand your question, I well, guess. I guess you <laughs> yeah. don't. That's pretty I obvious, do. unfortunately. Well, how about if you phrase it more clearly, instead of just insulting me? <laughs> look, 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 look at it this way. Let's talk about quotas for a minute. So there's a, a very wide array of jobs that are fundamentally uh, done by men. 99.9% .9 of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if, 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 if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented it? in all professions at all levels. Well, we, Why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? I'm fully convinced at this point that mansplaining was created by feminists to save face when they got schooled by a man. We live in as women is believing that we have high emotional intelligence. And setting the record straight, women have no emotional intelligence. The reason that as women we want to believe we have emotional intelligence is because we are emotional. <laughs> because we are emotional, as women, we want to think we have high emotional intelligence. But the truth is, <laughs> is the fact that we are highly emotional is actually the biggest indicator that we have very low emotional intelligence because being emotional is having no control over our emotional state, which is low emotional intelligence. High emotional intelligence is the ability to be pragmatic, to see things realistically, and to make choices and respond to life not from an emotional place. It's the ability to be in control of our emotional state and operate in life from that place. Women would call this rage baiting, and I'd call it setting the record straight. To the men out there who are 50-50 warriors, 
providing is in the Bible, okay? You cannot call yourself a man of God or a man of faith if you're not a provider. Read the Bible. Yeah, that part of the Bible's talking about his wife. Not some chick he met at the Carolina Classic and went on two dates to the Cheesecake Factory. It also says that your duty will be to your husband and he shall rule over thee. And we know y'all don't want to be ruled over. So do us all a favor and stop quoting the Bible. Women love to pick and choose the passages that benefit them. If she'd flip over a page, she'd know it was only for virtuous women. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna, 26. My eyes are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoos? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their... Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes. What it is. No, I was looking I was at the hair on your Anyways, arms, queen. <laughs> Ask me the question. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much, Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. I, that's so good. that's all good. Maybe the real reason why they rejected him was because they knew they were about to get cooked. What's one race you wouldn't date? I'm not into black women. Oh. <laughs> why is this always the answer? I need to know this right now. So you think I'm ugly? No, that's not it. You're conventionally a very pretty girl. It's just a preference. I actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit, but I literally, I just couldn't like get into it. Like, I mean, if a girl's half, it's different. But like a girl who's like fully black, I just, for some reason, it's just. So it's just like a preference of skin tone. So you don't like black people. No, I love black people, but I'm just not attracted really to black women. Solid point at the end. If a black guy says that he doesn't date white women, she'd call him a black king or something. Date who you want. The dude extremely respectfully articulated his preference. You guys have made it to the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel in the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.